Previously on Paradise Falls. Here's to the opening of the B&B. Bottoms up. Sorry about that. I get that reaction from a lot of guys. I'm gonna start a petition to get rid of that B&B and I want you to support me. It's my birthday. So how old are you? 38? I'm 35. And I don't like you telling me you're a princess when you're just a guy with his dick cut off. Didn't your father ever tell you to keep away from his property? Don't touch me, I said no. <laughs> Next time I'll kill you. This is Tony Baroni with the Paradise Falls Community Report. And today's weather, blue skies, calm waters, another perfect day in Paradise Falls. Dealer gets five. I'll take another card. Dealer gets 21. Dealer wins. You have 20. How did you know that? Well, you don't think I'm going to give you the winning cards, do you? I want you to teach me how you do that. Are they marked? That's cheating. No, it's not. It's assigning the proper cards to the appropriate hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you another one. I thought you weren't going to work today. I have some paperwork I have to do. Oh, I was hoping you'd take care of Jackson. You said you could. I can't. Why can't you paint with him in the studio? Well, I was going to clear it out. It's just going to get in the way. What if something happens? Yeah. Call me. I'll come get him. You're just doing paperwork, right? He'll sit in the corner and sleep. Can't we just get a babysitter? He's your son. You know it's not easy for me to take him. You could try to be more supportive. I take care of Jackson every day. I think that's pretty supportive. I meant more supportive of me. OK, I know. I'm sorry. Don't paw me. I'm not pawing you. I'm your husband. I don't know why you just can't take him. He'll be fine. Look at him. He's an angel. You'll forget he's even there. You got in late last night? Yeah, I got delayed. Did you eat all that yourself? I don't want to talk about it. How'd you get the bruise on your arm? Body surfing. Fine. It's not like I expect you to talk to me. In fact, I don't expect anything from you. It was your birthday. Fuck. Was yesterday the 25th? Yesterday was the 24th. My birthday's on the 24th. It's been that way my whole life. Relax. Relax. I'm remembering it now. Happy birthday. She be how old now? 38? <sighs> oh my goodness, look who walked in. I thought you'd be surprised. <laughs> Who's the baby? Be young for a runaway, even for Paradise Falls, don't you think? I'm just watching him. Really? I never think of you as a motherly kind. Well, we all have our surprises. So, what brings you here? It's been, what, about a year? Do you remember that guy who killed Sarah Bragg last year? Yeah, David Silverman. They just caught him. He was arrested in BC. And I wanted to speak to the, uh, the witch with the, uh, visions, you know? Excuse me. Rose, you're blocking my view, scuffing out the blonde in the purple bathing suit. I just wanted to warn you. A friend, Frances, is starting a petition to have you guys close down. She asked me to sign it, but I said no. Good girl. 
What has your friend got against gays? Oh, it's not gays specifically. She doesn't really like anybody. As long as it's not personal. Point her out to me. I'll try and drop a house on her. Uh, um, I, I was also wondering if maybe little Vin needed a babysitter. I, I brought some toys here. Donor daddy in the bad seed left early this morning. Thank God. <laughs> I know you. You came by to see the guys, didn't you? <laughs> you straight girls. <laughs> Did you hear? There's a petition floating against yours truly. Did anyone sign it? Mm-hmm. I'm thinking of starting my own petition, maybe getting you to do some work around here. Don't worry, I'm gonna hire someone. There's breakfast inside. Hi, I'm Thomas. Rose Bernini. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Who's he? He seems nice. He's my daddy. Oh. Scorcher. You're not talking to me? Oh, I'm sorry. Was I supposed to respond to that? Yeah, she sure is a scorcher. There's a new boat in the marina. Turbocharger. I was thinking maybe we could go for a swim. Seems last time we didn't make it in the water. Now, if I walk down to the lake, are you going to follow me? I'm not following no, you. No, I'm not complaining. I just want to know. Yeah. What are you hoping to get from her anyway? Well, they're going to want her to be a witness, so I thought I'd come up here and warn her. That's nice of you. How's Duckman? He's fine. Used to get upset when I called him Duckman. You gonna carry that baby with you everywhere? Coming! Oh. Hi, Pamela. We need to talk to you. Uh, that is if uh, you're not too occupied. Give us a few minutes. <laughs> Dealer is 21. You have 19, right? That's right. Very good. I'm getting good at seeing the pattern. Of course, it's only taken two hours. Well, they're not easy to spot, which makes them good. Standard mark cards have the clock markings. Any kid can spot those. But it's real hard to see the box markings. It's hard to see the little breaks. Especially in a dark club. Oh, hi. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? No. Uh, hey, come on in here. <laughs> hey, uh, Kelly, this is my, um, Nick's my son. Uh, what are you doing home, son? Uh, Nick was in L.A. Well, I wanted it to be a surprise. Oh. I'll get you a drink. Uh, it's scotch, right? So, you're the son. Yeah, he's a writer. Oh, an ex-writer. Everyone in Hollywood's a writer, even those who can't write are writers. They're the ones doing TV. Uh, I'm glad you're back. Well, it's good to be back, Dad. <laughs> he was arrested. I'm in BC. There is a chance they'll call you as a crown witness. Um, if they do, the court will fly you out. I knew it. I had a vision last year about David. Actually, I saw his mask in about, uh, how long has he been in BC, six months? That's right. Six months ago. That's when my vision stopped. I knew he wasn't in Paradise Falls anymore. It was great, they caught him. You know, I thought you'd be relieved. I am. I see you to come by in person. We had no cops made house calls. I was in the neighborhood. Sorry, I, I must have done something. No, he, he cries a lot. I, hey, come on. Huh? 
So, how long have you been going out with that, um, older gentleman? What are you talking about? Your daddy. Oh, you thought I meant daddy. No, I meant daddy. No bunny ears. <laughs> He's my father. Your real father? Well, at least that's what Mama said. She never could believe her. And he's okay with you being so, you know, gay. When you say so gay, you mean what, I have a rainbow flag sticking out my ass? I just mean your father seems very supportive. <laughs> Why are people so shocked that my father doesn't hate me? I'm a likable person. I mean, if you had a gay son, you'd still like him. Oh, without question, I would just want him to be- Healthy, I know. And straight. And don't fuck the boy next door. Sorry. Well, it's not like I'm going to have children on my own anyway. I'm single. Please. Any idiot can get pregnant. I have this lesbian friend who got pregnant. All she did was go to the homo hardware. I don't understand. Turkey baster. And of course, the staff there, so friendly. <laughs> Tied your back. Thought you deserted me. So why'd you call me son back there? Well, I don't want her to know you're my grandson. She thinks I'm in my fourth. So. <laughs> hey, what are you laughing? I'm in good shape here. I lost some weight. <laughs> you don't think she's a bit young? Well, you're just jealous because I'm going to get laid. Oh yeah, you're right about that. Are you still with your buddy? You mean my significant buddy? No, Simon and I broke up. Uh, hey, I'm going to go check my mail. I'll meet you in the marina a little later, okay? Hey, maybe she's got a brother. We could uh, go double. Oh, yeah. That'd be fun. Petal, I'm so sorry I missed your birthday. I had this supplier I'm dealing with, but I have a little something for you. <laughs> B. You didn't have to do this. Did you have a good day yesterday? Uh, I'm not really into birthdays. I'm gonna make it up to you. I'm gonna get us a cake, and we're each gonna gain two pounds. <laughs> uh, I'll have a beer. Put it on. I just, I just know it's gonna look great on you. B, this is so sweet of you. Can I get a beer here? Welcome. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> Thank you, B. Got your ice cream. <laughs> my father used to buy me ice cream. Did you like it? I hated my father. The ice cream I didn't mind. Mm. <laughs> Why do you keep teasing me and pulling away? I'm not much of a vanilla girl. He said you wanted to go for a swim. You have a bathing suit under there? Do you care? <laughs> I bet this is where you used to come with your buddies to jack off. Never did that. You never jacked off? With my buddies. See, that's the problem with straight guys. They don't know when to take advantage of opportunities. I forgot what a wingnut that one was. She knew he was captured because she didn't have a vision. Certifiable. I like Pamela. You don't believe in those visions, do you? No, and I also don't believe he came to Paradise Falls just to tell her about David Silverman. Actually, uh, I was in the mall the other day, and uh, I saw this beautiful blonde. I almost yelled out your name. This isn't going anywhere. I know. I just wanted to come and see you. I'll walk you to your car. Okay. Are you gonna 
slow down. You know, you laugh about my visions, but I was right. I knew he wasn't around anymore, and he wasn't. That's because you're super witch. I don't get the visions because I'm a witch. I told you this before. Right. Being a witch gives you the spiritual tools which allow you to have the visions. All hail the Lord and the Lady. You know, sarcasm is the lowest form of humor. Is that what I was doing, witchy woman? Come on, on the upside, I tell all my friends that witches make the best kissers. That part's true. <laughs> cake is coming from Vinny's, chocolate banana, custard center. Oh, B, you didn't have to do that. They only turned 29 once. That's so nice. Thank you, B. You know, I've been thinking, what would you say if I told you that I wanted to have a baby? I'd probably say you've had too many strawberry margaritas. No, seriously. I've been doing a lot of babysitting, and I've given this some real thought. I've always wanted a baby. I, I just didn't know how to do it, you know? Oh, Petal, if you don't know how it's done yet, I mean... <laughs> Nikki! <laughs> I to give you a hug. Oh! Hey. Hello, is Simon with you? Oh, no, we're not a couple anymore. Oh, that's too bad. I liked him. He dumped me. Who needs him? Nick, I'm over here, huh? You look gorgeous. Oh, well, you're only saying that because it's true. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk later, okay? I'll catch up with Sounds you. Sounds good. Hi, Nick. Hi, hey, Rose. Nice to see you again. It's nice to see you, too. Can't be happy with the Admiral. I don't think that's your business. What is? If I'm happy or not. I want to make it my business. You don't want to get in trouble. I thought women liked bad boys. <laughs> You're not that bad. Not fair. You've been taking advantage of me all day. Have a beer, please. Um, no, it looks like... Well, take my breath away. I heard the word please. You don't hear it a lot. No, not from the men around here. My name is Thomas Martinelli. B. Sutton. Hello. I keep driving by this marina. I never come in. If I'd known you were here, I would have come by earlier. <laughs> well, that'll be four dollars, please. Is this your bar? You have a nice smile. I can stop saying nice things if you want me to. I can tell you when I get bored. <laughs> you know, I love you. I don't have to say that all the time. I like saying it. I want you to know you're adored. You're my dreamy one. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how terrible has it been seeing me again? Mm, four. That's not so bad. Hell, I would have come back sooner if I knew it was only a four. I'm married, remember? Yeah, I remember. Call me. 
Or come by my place if you're in the neighborhood. You don't need much of an excuse. forward and ask you to have a drink with me. I'm not really looking for a date, Thomas, but I'm extremely flattered that you asked. Then I'll have to ask you again. I think you should have gone out with him. Oh, Rose. I'm a transsexual living in a small town. I'm trying to keep my life's complications to a low buzz. He doesn't have to know that. I mean, after all, mystery's half the women. Not that half I'm worried about. Have you seen my baby Jackson? Inside a place where no one's been. 